So here we have the Y2Y W2SG0084i GPS receiver development system. It is a miniature industrial temperature compliant GPS receiver device which is based on the newest SERV Star 4 technology from CSR SERV. Some of the key features of the Y2Y W2SG0084i GPS receiver is its high sensitivity navigation engine that can track as low as minus 163 dBm its adaptive power controller that allows very small power consumption and its capability of removing in-band jammers up to up until 8 dB Hz which together makes it an ideal GPS solution for portable as well as industrial devices. Down here we have uh, the kit itself. On the kit there is the W2 SG0084i receiver there is a serial connector here which supports both NME and OSP protocol for communication with the receiver chip. Uh, here is a 5 volt uh, DC supply connector here. There is a uh, power on off switch and there is another switch here with a push button to turn on the GPS in full power mode and there is a SME connector for connecting the active antenna. The antenna used here is an active antenna which plugs into the SMA connector. For commu communication through the serial port, we have a serial cable uh, and a USB to serial converter cable. For 5 volt DC supply connector, we have an adapter. And there is a CD which contains SurfLife software. The SurfLife software is a tool that provides real-time monitoring of the GPS receiver such as W2SG0084i. Now to begin the demo, we take the SurfLife software which is on the CD and install that on the laptop. And we set up the dev kit as follows. Connect the serial port to the laptop through the serial cable or serial to USB converter cable. Connect the power and connect the antenna. The antenna for the initial testing has to be located to a line of sight uh, somewhere near the window. Now to begin with the actual demo, we turn, turn the power on by clicking the switch down. Next we will start the receiver in full power mode by pushing the push button switch once. So once the serial port is connected to the laptop, we need to establish which COM port is being used for communication to the serial port. For that, we go to the control panel, um, we open up system, hardware, device manager, and in that we open up COM port to um, see which uh, COM port is being used for the serial interface, and here we see that it is COM5. Once the COM5 establishes, we open up the self life software, a window will open up with many icons. In order to connect the SurfLife software to GPS receiver, we click on the icon on the top left uh, called the receiver setting. Uh, this opens up another window called our export setting and here we first set the product family as GSD4E. Then we make sure that the port is indeed COM5 and we also make sure that the baud rate is 4800 which is the default baud rate for enemy and white white GPS receiver module and now we click OK this opens up many window here and down here we have the debug view window which um, shows the enemy data being uh, sent out by the receiver GPS receiver device um, on the top side we have a signal view window uh, which shows the satellite vehicles that are being um, detected the elevation value the azimuth value and the carrier to noise uh, ratio of different satellites and the uh, carrier to noise signal strength of satellites being tracked for the last few seconds of the receiver and here we have a location view window which is uh, quite useful uh, for checking uh, if indeed the 
GPS receiver is working properly, one qu quick way is to look, in look into the value of latitude and longitude here in the location view window. And we see that um, uh, we have latitude of 37 degrees and longitude minus 121.9 degrees. Um, we are based on San Jose, so a quick way is to go to the website and check for um, the latitude and longitude uh, values like date and time. And here in the website, it shows uh, you the quadrants for San Jose, which is latitude 37 degree north and longitude minus 121 west, which fairly matches with the result that the Y2Y GPS receiver has provided. So that completes our basic demo using the W2SG0084i evaluation kit. The actual device itself is 11.2 mm by 12 mm by 2.5 mm and it is used in variety of applications such as smartphones, personal GPS navigation devices, industrial products and handheld terminals and other portable devices that require location based data.